right, guys, we're back with my little bulldog. And you know, the more I think about it, I mean, like dogs like this, these things have explosive behavior. Any terriers do. And if you, oh, he gave me the shake off. If he said, uh, I'll tell you what you would never want to do if they gave you the shake off. Would be start petting them right after that. Because I'll tell you what, the, they would give you the shake off again. So he's conditioned, and I think this is where you would just want to start with any of them because, you know, if you really look at my videos, the dogs are only doing two things. They're only doing two things. I mean, some of the more advanced ones are sending away, but the, the, the ones for the clients and stuff, for the most part, they can get them to come and they get them to down. You know, so you've got, um, if you can do that, I mean, you know, if you can make a car stop and you can make it go, I mean, as far as I can tell, that's all it takes to get a license. So I can make him go with the pager. Yeah. No, but he's got the impression of driving forward. He's not slowing down, and then I can, I can get him to down with the pager. So I'm able to get him to do two things with it. You know, and if you said, well, you could never do more than that, well, you, honestly, most people aren't going to be, you know... They're not looking for a car with, you know, they're looking for transportation. With these dogs, the companion dog, these people are looking for this thing to help transport them through their life. That's what they're looking for. They're not looking for fancy. So if you can make them make it stop and go, they'll be fine, I promise you. If you're trying to say, I'm teaching them 105 commands, and, oh, stop, it's never going to happen. So I can make them go. do the, you know, the foot thing is good just because, and if you said, when are you doing the pager in conjunction with my foot right there. So when my foot goes up, he fills the pager. And I can tell you, he looks like he's rolled in poop or something. And it would be really easy to get one of these fighting you. And I understand that about bulldogs and stuff. That's why they go sour. Once they think you're sort of trying to get in a fight with them, they're more than ready for that. And if you said, how do you know? Start playing tug of war with one. <laughs> Start playing tug of war with one. So I haven't worked him in a few days, but again, I'm doing all my setup. I'm, oh, you know, I might be able to get him running around a cone, I bet. I think I took the other foot still out there. It's the only problem. So it's going to have to make do. So I've got my scrunch bells. No, I'm not having any plans to move beyond the scrunch bells. I'm going to get this scrunch bell business off the ground. If it's the last thing I do, so, you know, I've got a dog that's engaged. I think, you know, if they're, I, I don't think, honestly, you can really train them unless they're looking at you because they really wouldn't be absorbing anything. You know, if it's just kind of going along, you know, that would be one of those things where, you know, I told you all, I told you the whole story and you go, oh yeah, I wasn't really listening. So that's still, I think, that's how I know he's bringing it though, the, the clack of them falling. Uh, just keep your eye on him. You know, so I'm saying I've got a greedy, hungry little dog. I'm not going to say stop, wait, polite. I'm saying run with it. I mean, you don't want to do anything to interrupt the momentum. So I was miming that out. You know, I was like all, oh, and then I just went. <laughs> you know, but I've got the dog, I've got the behavior of the dog coming to me, and I think that's why, you know, you're going to have a problem. If you don't do your recall first, I mean, obviously, you can have a problem. If this dog doesn't have a behavior of running, he just happens to be running to me with something in his mouth. Now, for him, that's a run, I promise. Um, um, if it's not going to do it without something in its mouth, it's definitely not going to do it with it. And you said, well, if you said, well, my plan is... If it doesn't bring it to me, I'm going to go after the dog. Well, I, I can tell you the problem with that is they've already got a plan for that, too. Because they've already figured out you're a turtle.
you know, but I would, if you said, well, what would you do if you just grabbed it and start running out the gate? I do have the ability to revert back to my recall. And he, if he dropped it, I would say the recall trumps the retrieve. You know, that would just always be, you know. You, job one has got to be able to get this thing back to you, directly back to right there. If you said, where do you want him back to? Right there. That's where I want him back to, right there. Not head rubs or anything. Okay, so let me just... He's going to have to try a little bit harder. So we'll see if he gets the closer ones first. That would be his... And, you know, my job is to play a very good job. And you need to kind of know. I understand the time frame with this dog. He'll kind of look around and then he will look at me. And that was my guarding behavior. And I, I do think, you know, that's another good reason this is good. Oh, you know, you could say, well, so dogs learn that there's theirs and ours. Some crazy shit. Oh, so he's not going to want to go all the way down there. It was, he's going to say to himself, what if I just grab one of these? Or anything close. Just watch him, though. Don't. He knows both of them are there. You know, in, in order for this to work, is what I understand, is, again, if they don't care what you want, it, you could sit here all day. They're never going to go. He's going to scratch his neck. He's going to look at me, and then he's going to go. I can try to coach him. Remember, he's deaf, but I can try to coach him. You know, and if he said, what's that? And he said, I got a little love for you, but, you know. give the effect of us. We've suddenly thrown a party. Oh my God, it was, it was nothing before, now we got a party. No, you got to be able to do that. I mean, he's not looking for any head pets right now. What my job is to, for him to say, wasn't doing that before. That's your job. They're needing to make that conclusion about you. tell you the wrong time to say anything would be when they turn their head. They're always looking for that head turn. Don't say anything. Yeah, I think I'm a slow turtle anyway. So now I'm just a slow, 
Oh, look, it's scrambling. It's trying to get the food. It's trying to feed me. You know, but any of them are opportunistic. I'm just gonna tell you right now, if I set the tree, if my, if what I was gonna try to do with the dog would be set the treats right there and tell him not to get it, that would be awful. You know, you would shoot yourself in the foot. I think you can't do, you know, with dogs that don't have, because he doesn't have the highest food drive. He's got, he's got pretty good food drive, but he's not, you know, it doesn't hurt to give him treats ever, let's put it that way. There's a way that you can tell, and certain dogs, and I know you guys that train a lot of dogs know what this is, but they kind of make an inhaling sound, you know, when they're taking the treat from your hand. You've got to kind of know who those dogs are, and they aren't. It would, those, the ones that do that kind of, and he'll do it. I'm, I'm going to get the camera right by him so you can hear it. The ones that do it like that, if you hear that noise when you're giving them the food, it is a good quality in a pet because it's not gonna he's not gonna snatch my hand at all but it would be very that already shows he's suffering and and i don't want you to think of this in a bad way but he's suffering from a level of inhibition about taking the food so if there's already a level i could augment that level and he wouldn't do it at all if you said well you how could you kill off his food drive and get him not to go get these dumbbells um, hit him with constant one time. I think he would just lay there, and I don't think he would move again. He's still watching everything I do, and if you're, if at the end of your session, I see these videos where at the end of the video the dog goes out of the sink. You don't want that, you know? If you have to do little breaks in between, I mean, I'm sometimes I train him for 20 or 30 minutes at a session. My job is to have that same damn party, you know? It's kind of like, you know, oh, we had such fun that one time. What can we do to create the fun? You know, this is way more fun than just one treat. It's, it's, a, it's a Chuck E. Cheese. You've got to be your, own, your dog's Chuck E. Cheese. I think that's what you have to think of. All right, I'm going to leave it that. I'm going to go get Crash real quick. You know, but I think you could see I, my actions are what made it better. My actions could have easily killed it off so that he didn't do it at all. But I was careful, but just remember that, and there's certain breeds of dogs that do it. Let me see if I can let you guys hear it. Lucy does it, and um, Tommy does it. A lot of them do it, and you, you've gotta be careful and not mistake that. You know, if I was mistaking this dog as having food drive, I would be mistaken just by virtue of the fact of the noise it's making when it's eating the food. They make a little inhaling noise and it's, let me see if I can have you guys hear it. You know, but that's, if you said, well, that's, that looks pretty greedy. Yeah, you haven't seen some of these other ones. That Parker, I mean, I was literally, I had, my hands were sliced up from this animal. You know what I mean? You're kind of operating on a fine line, but, uh, you know, I just, that's just something dogs do that could have their food drive killed off. Let's put it this way. If you hear that, the second you hear that noise, you got to say to yourself, build, build, build. Oh my God. You know, you got to be careful because this dog's food drive could be killed off in Literally in two seconds, literally in two seconds by hitting the constant for two seconds. It would not want to eat. It would now, it would go flat. And it certainly couldn't be, you know, mentally asked to go get a dumbbell. Anyway, guys, I'm going to be right back with Crash because Crash hasn't been on the show. And hopefully she won't just run off. All right. Hi, Jerry. Hi, Linda. All right, guys, hang on. Crash is going to put on a show for everybody.